Hey, it's you. Let's get the 200 armory. The focus of this video will be on farming these materials, refining them yourself, and crafting them. That said, everything here I'm going to tell you can be farmed or can be bought in the auction house. There are some requirements moving forward. You will need a tier 5 loom and a tier 5 outfitting section somewhere on your server. And as even the fresh start servers have these now, you shouldn't have much of an issue here. Your refining skill will need to be 150 or higher. Refining all the way to infused silk should happen naturally during this process. If not, my favorite little hack for leveling and refining is just to grind out the highest level material you can, use some solvent to downgrade that material, and then grind it out again. This saves on farming time and can boost you very fast. As we will be salvaging tons of armor, you really want to have 100 spec into focus to get the 10% extra salvaging. It isn't much, but we will be salvaging so much it certainly cannot hurt. This is not a requirement, and the number shown here will assume you don't have it. We will also assume that there are no crafting bonuses. You will likely not need to harvest the required 187,000 fiber by hand. Finally, if you choose to gather your materials, you will definitely want increased yield on your sickle, pickaxe, and skinning knife. You'll also want to use a proficiency booster and, if you can play the music or run into a bard, get the fortune's favor buff. Like most things here, these are nice to have but not required. It just makes the grind a little faster. So getting into it, we have one very simple strategy. Gloves. We will make thousands upon thousands of gloves. Why gloves? Simple. You can make so many of them for the material cost, you will inevitably get more armor scraps, which can then be researched for a nice experience boost. Please note, you do not want to turn these scraps into materials. You will get far more experience out of just doing the research with them. Here's an overview of what we'll be crafting and what it'll cost in terms of materials. This is the raw cost. We'll spend far less on actual fiber. That said, we'll still need to gather a large amount of rawhide and iron. So, as we're going to be salvaging everything, we need to note the recovery rates. When we look at the recovery rates, we get between 1 and 2 of our main material back per item destroyed. This means that we save the following. For each linen recovered, we save 4 fiber. For each sateen recovered, 16 fiber and 1 wire weave. For each recovered silk, we save 32 fiber, 6 silk threads, and 2 wire weave. For each infused silk, we save 64 fiber, 8 wire fiber, and 3 wire weave. Putting this in perspective, our final run of infused silk gloves is for 835 gloves. When we've crafted and salvaged about half of them, assuming we recover 1.2 material per glove, a low estimate, we'll get around 32,000 fiber recovered, 3,300 wire fiber, and 1,200 wire weave. This is not insignificant. We're going to do this in segments to both break it up and give us measurable progress and to ensure that we are not over farming or over buying. So we will be gathering iron ore, rawhide, fiber, silk threads, wire fiber, and wire weave. The following runs will be repeated many times. Get comfortable with them. Feel free to grab more than you need while there because you will inevitably need them for the next run. I'll link them in the description as well. For the iron, you can get it here in Windsward at Inkwell Cave. For the fiber, you can get it here, again in Windsward, near Iron Rose Shrine. Silk threads are from the east of Brightwood and wire fiber is from the west of Brightwood. Both of these routes originate at Brightwatch. Wire weave can be gotten from any supply chest run. I suggest this chest run here as it's a full loop. Finally, for the rawhide, you can get it passively at Inkwell, or you can get it here at First Light. The full video runs for these is in the description. I'll also link a god tier run from 5 Head Gaming for rawhide that, while efficient, is way too intense for me. To start, we're going to craft about 115 linen hair wraps to go from 0 to 50. There are so few required here that we're going to do them all in one gathering run. Further runs will be broken into segments to make them a little easier to manage. We'll need about 1,900 rawhide, 2,000 fiber, and 500 iron ore. Gather the materials using the routes listed or the auction house, your choice. Head to the refining station and refine each of them. Smelter for iron ingots, tannery for coarse leather, and loom for linen. Then head to the outfitting station and make the 115 linen in wraps and then salvage them all. You're going to use the scrap material and make any more that you possibly can, and then salvage them again and repeat until the material is gone. Any scraps should be turned into research notes, not materials. And when we're finally done, we should have a few leftover materials that will roll over into our next run. Please note when I say scraps, I'll show you what I mean here. These are armoring scraps. These are what you can convert into a material box or into research notes. The research notes are very, very valuable. Always focus on those while you're leveling. Next, we will go from 50 to 100 with sateen gloves. We need about 350 of these, so I recommend we do this 100 gloves at a time until we reach level 100. 
This will let us do our research in between runs and break them up a bit. Per 100 run, we need to gather in a specific way. We only need, for instance, 400 iron ore, but we're gonna gather 600 or more. We do this because when we salvage, we'll get 25 to 50% of our fiber cost back. So we want the extra cost to account for the salvage. Our official goal per 100 gloves is 600 iron ore, 1,800 rawhide, 400 wire weave, and 6,500 fiber. Now, 6,500 sounds like a lot, and it is, but it's only a few hours of farming. Use rats listed in the description or a few trips to the auction house and a lot of gold, and you'll be fine. When we have the materials, refine the materials, craft your gloves, making sure to use the iron ingots and coarse leather as your options, salvage the gloves, make more gloves from the salvage, and do your research. We'll do this until we reach level 100, and congrats on reaching level 100. Now we're going to focus on silk gloves, 50 at a time. You'll notice that's a pattern there. For this, we will need to acquire another 6,500 fiber, 300 iron ore, 600 wire weave, 1,300 silk threads, and about 900 rawhide. Convert these into iron ingots, coarse leather, and then silk, and make silk gloves, break them down, make more with what's left, and do your research. Repeat this until you get to level 150. You may have noticed that we're crafting fewer at a time as we go up in level, but the requirements to craft go up. This is just armoring, being armoring. We want to keep the gathering manageable, and it should be no surprise that we'll be crafting in few silk gloves, 25 at a time, now. This is the end game. Each set of 25 infused gloves will require you to acquire about 6,500 fiber, 1,300 silk threads, 1,000 wire fiber, 800 wire weave, 200 iron ore, and 600 rawhide. Just as before, we will gather the materials, refine them, craft our gloves, salvage them, craft with the salvage, do our research, and go back to gather enough for another 25. We're gonna do this until we reach level 200, and it really is that simple. And for those asking about the one-time craft bonuses, I tried this on another character and saw no discernible difference overall versus the bulk crafting, except my hand tiring out over repeatedly selecting the materials for each craft and getting less materials back from the lesser crafts. Gloves really are the way to go for leveling because of the research note potential. Anyway, I hope this helps. If it did, please share with a friend. I hope you have a great day.